Hey guys, we're back to the next video. This time, we'll be checking out something that came today from QNAP. It is a home NAS. So let's get this unboxed and see what it's all about, shall we? Have a look what I've got on. Now, this is a home NAS from QNAP. Big thank you to QNAP. Comes with four gigs of RAM and it does have an Intel Celeron. Now, this is specifically for home use but i'm going to be making videos about this so these are the overall specifications the cpu does go up to uh, 2.9 gigahertz uh it does actually have two mvme slots for gen 3 it does have a pci gen 3 times 2 P expansion slot it's got 2.5 gigabyte ethernet as well as snapshot protection so Let's open this up and take a look, shall we? And then we get a little message below. Thank you for choosing QNAP. We hope you enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed creating it. You may visit the following links for product support or join our online communities. Hmm. So let's have a look what comes in the box. Okay, so get a power adapter or the cable for it. Now, it does come with a box by here. Okay, so it does have extended warranty. And then, of course, does come with a quick installation guide. I will be reading over this. And then this is the this is the limited warranty. So it does come with an adapter, and the power adapter is that's the voltage, but there and the wattage, 65 watts. And then, of course, then it comes with an Ethernet cable, and then screws. And here it is. So it's not a very big unit, but from what you can see look at that that looks really i like the color the white and the, the gold color is really nice but there then of course comes with cloud installation create support ID key yeah they're the keys but they can't have those <clears throat> and then of course at the back and look it's even got a fan then of course then it's got uh, lan then it's got two usb as well as another usb but there so let's open this up because this will be the first time I look at it. And to be honest, I'm very, very excited about this. This is something I've wanted to do for years. But uh, luckily, my channel's actually made that possible. So I'd like to thank everyone. Right. So it does come with a fan. Then there's a DC in. So let's open this up. Or is it already opens it? Oh, takes two screws. Hold on, I'll be back. Here we go. Okay, then. so, so does it slide or what? Aha, ah, there we go. Right, so it pulls. Okay, so these are the drive sleds, which do take two and a half and three and a half inch drives. And then there's the other one by there. And then under here then is the main board. How does this come off? So as you can see, look, it's got the Satan interface inside by there. And then it's got the RAM slots and then it's got the rest of that. I'm gonna get this open, so, I'll be back. Okay then, so this is the inner workings. Now, when it comes to the overall processor, like I said, it's Intel. There's the overall uh, SATA interface for either hard drives or SSDs. And then, of course, then you've got this big fan by you, or this tiny one. <coughs> And then you can, then you have got a PCI expansion. So I'm assuming that'd be for like a PCI card or something like that. As I said, I'm not an expert in this thing, uh, this field. But what I will say is definitely something I'm really looking forward to testing. I've never tested anything server grade or NAS grade or anything. But look, that's the M.2 slots by there. And look, as much as I love and really think this is so cool, but... I just wanted to show you guys what's in it. So it's got four gigs of DDR4, I believe it is. And, ooh, look. It's even got a little clip spur to do the SSDs. Now, that's a tiny heatsink for that CPU, but that is pretty much it. So when it comes to the next video I do, it will be in terms of the overall uh, installation because I am getting drives from Toshiba as well as A-Pacer. They're sending out review, uh, review samples so I can actually use in this to get used to that. So yeah. Okay, and so like you saw the uh, unboxing. Now, this isn't a review video because i don't actually have any storage and i don't have any mvme storage now apace are sending out two mvme one terabyte uh, drives for me for this they will be gen 3 they're fine for home nas and big thank you to qnap because without them sending out this unit it wouldn't be a project that would have gotten off by itself because this is something i've really been interested in doing ever since i started my channel but before that when liner started 
Lines Tech Tips started doing like server stuff, content. I love that type of content. I find it really interesting to me and to learn something new, which is, this is what this is. It's for me to learn something new and also show you guys then how you can set it up and stuff. A big thank you to QNAP, but also a big thank you to APESA as well as the main storage I'm going with is hard drives because SSDs do cost a lot more, especially in the bigger uh, capacity range. Now, Toshiba will be sending out two six terabyte drives. That'll be 12 terabytes of backable storage. I won't have to worry about things. I won't have to worry about back backing up with external drives that I've got here. I've got two external drives here that are full. My main editing system, I've got two NVMEs there. One is also another two terabyte, which is almost full. So I need the overall NAS for that particular uh, instant. Now, this is an interesting, personal interest in for me more than you guys. This is something I've always wanted to check out. It's also something I've wanted to get into because this type of stuff is what I like watching on YouTube. I like, of course, like the content, like the reviews and stuff that is a product that I'm interested in, but the service type stuff that Linus, that Jay's done, that Games Nexus, and you Rafael have done, it always brings me closer to that type of content because that's what I'm genuinely interested in. Yeah, I like the motherboard and all that type of stuff, but this stuff really does get my energy going. And I'm hope I'm very hope hopefully gonna make this a series. I'm gonna show you how to set it up after obviously before I, I need to learn how to do that first. It's gonna be a learning curve. I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna show you while I learn as well. And I'm hoping that you guys will also enjoy the future videos because I have got loads planned for this. Like I said, 12 terabytes, that's a lot of storage. And yeah, I'm just hoping that maybe I can get further on, but if it wasn't for you guys who watch my videos, who are subscribed to the channel, it, this wouldn't have happened. Like I said, it's you on YouTube that are the ones that have mainly afforded, afforded me the overall opportunity of getting into this type of space. And I just really want to say thank you to everyone, as well as QNAP, APS, as well as Toshiba. I'm really, really excited to get into this. So I hope you enjoyed at least the unboxing. Look, make sure you subscribe because I've got loads of stuff coming. I've got stuff coming from ID Cooler. I've still got the coolers here from PC Cooler. I got another mon to come from AOC. This time it's a 30, uh, 45 inch ultra wide gaming monitor. I've also got uh, stuff here from Endorphi. I've also got a thermal, thermal master camera that attaches to my phone that will be, I'll be able to tell you whether that a certain CPU cooler will perform better due to the overall thermal output. So that'll be interesting to add towards videos. So yeah, look, when it comes comes to Saturday when this video goes live, I will tell you that I won't be uh, uploading on TikTok or anything over the weekend because I am down at meetup with Andy Rafael down in Canterbury in England. So I will be there until Monday and after Monday, everything goes back to normal. So yeah, this is Rich Welter Tech. Goodbye.